We're pioneers of the mind in this classroom. Scholars and philosophers. You know what Shakespeare said about punctuality? Better three hours too early than one minute too late. I propose a final thought experiment for our final session together. Let's envision a global cataclysm. We're gonna have to take shelter here inside this reinforced bunker. We'll have to spend a full year inside this bunker, which is equipped with generator and fuel supply to keep it running that long. You see the problem. We're a group of 21, but the bunker's only built for 10. Which means you have to decide who's valuable enough to expend limited resources on. You want to choose at random a card from inside this box. On each card, there's a profession. Based on that profession, your colleagues are going to make decisions concerning your bunker worthiness. Organic farmer. Structural engineer. A harpist. Orthopedic surgeon. I'm a soldier. I'm a published poet. You have a brutally short window to calculate who deserves a slot in your bunker. Your one tool, logic. Was it any crueler than letting an atomic cloud peel his skin off? I don't want him in the bunker with us. experiment. I am the wild card. Don't worry about it. You'll do better in the next iteration. Next iteration? I have a different way we could go. I'd like to be in charge of who's in and who's out. Pedro, this is disordered. In my apocalypse, everybody's worth as much as everybody else. I won't let you do it. Get out of there. Get out! You can't shoot me. You're a pacifist. I'll make an exception. We live briefly, but we don't mind. And when it's time to die, we don't resist death. We summon it. This is not philosophy anymore. I won't have you debating us into extinction. If you don't like it, shoot me. You know what apocalypse actually means? to uncover what you couldn't see before.